and keep that blood from a side down. You right there, ladies and gents? I'm out on the triumph. Now let's get this thing running. Game on. And that's it. That's all the acceleration I've got. <laughs> I'm in top. God, this feels slow. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm on my blooming wonderful, wonderful 765. And this is a lovely, lovely little route. It's one of my favourite in my locale. And because of the reduced speed I'm able to do on this bike, this is perfect for it. Running bikes in sucks, especially the first few hundred miles. You just don't have hardly any rev range at all to play with. And 5,000 RPM doesn't even get me 70 miles an hour on this bike. But it's still enough to have fun. Okay, it's more fuel time. That means I'm getting the miles done. Bike came with 10 litres. It's doing around 55 miles per gallon at the moment. On average that is, where it was last time I looked before I started this journey. I love that little bit of road. So we've done some corners, and we're still in the countryside, there's going to be plenty more. Now if I didn't need fuel, I'll be heading that way. But, I need fuel to go around this way. Okay, we have fuelsies. Let's get some milesies done. Yeah, when running in, you want to have the tightest and twistiest roads you can find. That way, you can work the gearbox and get each gear bedded in nicely, so that you're not holding onto the gears too long, you're not hitting that maximum RPM limit that you've got for that particular mileage range. So yeah, the main thing to worry about when you're running a bike in is just not labouring the engine. Don't bog it down and don't thrash it. Vary the revs, change your gears lots, shove it around some twisties preferably when there's less cars than I'm experiencing today wankers well that's the thing I'm not really driving that fast I'm only doing 60 miles an hour so I shouldn't really be catching up with all these cars that's what's frustrating they're all driving so far below the speed limit what's the point in being here they may as well have stayed in bed longer and got a bus I've set myself a little challenge I've already booked this in for its first service I'm going to do 100 miles a day until we get to the 500 mile requirement for this bike's first service it's already booked in for it so all we need to do is get the miles on and when the weather's like this it's not going to be difficult with the delay happening to me picking this bike up, putting it off for a month, quite possibly meant that this painful time of racking up the miles is done in much nicer weather. So I'm not all unhappy about that. Would have been nice to have had a running bike for days like today though. I'm sweating my arse off already, and I'm not even in full leathers. Lovely twiddly route, lovely twiddly route indeedy. This thing is so nimble. It's not KTM 390 nimble. It's different nimble. It's much more planted. I guess that's the advantage of having a little bit more weight. So it stays on track a little bit better. Certainly not missing the revs along here. is plenty fast enough especially while I'm getting dialed in with how this bike handles and an unfamiliarity with where each twist and turn is going to take me again it's always worth keeping your pace down a little bit so you've got that little extra comfort room 
should have caught a catch you out a little bit. Cyclists! No! They were waiting for us to overtake, but I wasn't waiting for them. This is an awesome road. I thought I was going to end up going over Ditchling Beacon, um, but I've not found the turn in to go up there yet. I don't know whether that means I haven't got to it yet, or whether I've missed it. But this is just as good. Just as good indeedy. I'll tell you what. I really do like the tone on this exhaust pipe. It's a little bit more fruity than the Arrow. So, uh, yeah. I really don't know what it sounds like for you guys. I might end up debaffling it to give you a little bit more audibles. We shall see. It's certainly enjoyable for my end of the stick. Especially when I think I've only got 5,000 RPM to play with at the moment. Once this gets up onto full chat at 12 and a half, 13,000 RPM, this is gonna howl! <laughs> this bike's silly. I'm definitely noticing a little bit more weight on my wrists on this. And I don't know whether that's just because I'm going downhill or what have you. But it's definitely more wristy weighty than either the Guzzi or the KTM. But that's what works with this bike though. It's got that little bit more pace. So, uh, you need to be a bit more forward on it to uh, hold on properly. These trumpets are everywhere. So, I've racked up a couple of miles. I'm now down in Norman's Bay near Pevensey Castle. This is where William the Conqueror landed his troops before that fateful battle of 1066 where King Harold lost his eye and then ultimately his life and our country to the French. It's far more peaceful down here now except for the sound of this Yoshi on the back of this bike. <laughs> but yeah, munching through the miles on this bike seems to be okay. 60 mile an hour is just a little bit painful for any bike really and uh, on the motorways or dual carriageways it's pretty horrible indeedy. But then you get onto roads like this and it's just an absolute delight. Pure riding pleasure. And this road here <laughs> is funnily enough in far better condition it would seem than some of our main routes. That's ridiculous. It's really flat along here so it's great you can see if there's any cars coming along or anything like that. And there's one just coming just now. There we go. Your side of the road please darling. Thank you. Ah, this is just delightful. I'm really having to wind myself in though. I keep edging beyond that little 5k mark on the rev counter. Gotta be careful. I know it's not going to break it if I do. I'm just trying to be uh, far more patient with this one. That's it's a little gorgeous, beautiful black baby. So you've got a little fort there. They used to have a cannon on the top of them that would defend our seas during the uh, Napoleonic period, I believe. Hopefully we'll get to the beach in a minute. The sign definitely said this way for Norman's Bay. That looks quite nice. This is a little popular biker route that I've just stumbled upon. And you can see why. It's pretty, pretty awesome. We do feel like we're getting closer to the beach gradually. Definitely feels like we're heading towards the sea. You can really feel the sea breeze already. It's just a drop in the temperature around here. It's magical. And here we are. 
this is the sea we're at the seaside awesome we'll find a place to go and have a look at it let's have a butcher shall we see what's going on So this is Norman's Bay. It's quite a nice beach. It's all stony though. But lovely, nonetheless. Awesome stuff. I don't know if you can read that, but that's 100 miles done. So, this is my first full day of having the bike and I've got my 100 miles on it. Although I did do a little bit of mileage on here yesterday. So yes, I still need to do some miles, but I've also got to get home from where I am now. So I think that would even it up all about nicely, I think. Over miles, the bike isn't quite as comfy as it was on that one hour's demo ride. The uh, cut down saddle is a little bit lacking in padding at the front on the edges, but it's all right. I'm comfortable enough. I wouldn't say it's any worse than either of my other bikes, but certainly on the short run that I did, it felt a little bit more comfortable on the uh, the demo bike. So I've just bimbled down to the beach, a new beach, not been there before, and uh, had a little look at the waves, not that there was many, and now it's time to head somewhere else. I'm kind of concerned that if I do too many miles at the beginning of this week, I'm going to run out of miles I'm going to be able to do towards the end of it which would suck a lot that would suck a big lot but I think I'm going to be okay so we'll just uh, wing it we'll ride until we get bored now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back but I'm going to head Brighton way so now we're out of the traffic I just want to say thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoy these little snippets I do as I go through the running process whether you enjoy the whole ride or just seeing how the bike is loosening up but i'd love to hear from you let me know what you think in the comments of this video and any of my other stuff that you have a look at too don't forget to click subscribe and give it a little thumbs up if you like it and a little thumbs down if you don't it's all good we don't mind i'm going to be posting quite a few videos on this little triumph as it goes through the running process so some of these might be a bit boring some of them might be not i don't know we'll have to see i haven't made them yet any houses as always you take care ride safe and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now. Keep that one. Rock us up. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bike. Rock us up.